Damn. I feel like this might actually be the answer. I'm not really proud to admit this, but I've come to a physical therapy appointment before. Damn, I've been watching YouTube videos. Uh, all right, we're vlogging on this. Just set it up, seems easy enough. I can flip it, boom. Hello, Ashton. We're gonna go mess around with the other features. I'm trying to figure out, uh, I got the auto face enabled, okay. All right, I can see you guys on my phone now as well. I can see what I'm recording. I probably should really figure out how to use this if it's going to become the daily vlogging camera. Hopefully this is better than the iPhone. All right, we threw we threw on the wide angled lens on this. I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still see if I can do my tracking thing. Face track enabled. So I wanna see if I set you down, I have the, the stand on it. And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna talk to you guys like this. I'm gonna get really animated. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna come to the side. Oh, that's wild. Let's go. Can't wait to do a workout. And I can just be hitting biceps. I'm gonna come out of the screen. Oh, you're gonna just follow me the whole way? Let's see how fast you can be, huh? Let's see how fast you are. Oh, about lost you, but I didn't. That's what we like to see. Today, we'll be training back. It's a back day, which is why I wasn't vlogging until this time. Color is pretty good. We're gonna have to see, you know, because I know you can actually do color grading on this. I feel like this might actually be the answer to so, as long as this, I'm gonna take this little lens off real quick. Sorry, Gimbal. I'm actually gonna jump on my phone here. Oh, geez. I like the quality on the, the DJI, as long as I keep the lens clean. Cause look at that. Look how cute you guys are. Just talking to me right there. If I want, I can charge this mic, throw it on. Let's see how that, what that does with the audio. There we go. Are we talking on this thing yet? Oh yeah, cause it's peeking at the top there. That's kind of cool. Jeez, I feel like a boomer right now. Food and physical therapy appointment. I got 20 minutes before I gotta get there. Gotta stop, get something to eat. Ready, set, go. I'm not really proud to admit this, but outside physical therapy spot, finishing up a very average slice of pizza for Maverick. Detroit personal pepperoni. Maverick is a gas station. I would not advise this. I'm trying to gain a pound a week. I skip a lot of meals, unfortunately, these days. Just running around like a chicken with my head cut off. Sometimes the only way to get in calories is to be less than ideal. Yes, I could have grabbed the protein bar, but honestly, I feel like protein bars, I just, unless they're a G2G one, I just, I'd rather eat something that I enjoy. So, got this. Gonna smash with a protein shake, go back, train, and then go cook dinner tonight. Here we go. Oh, what a great day it is out here. I mean, look at these, look at these clouds. Just noticing everything on here. Wow. I do not have the wide angle lens right on right now, but I don't really think I, I need it. So if you guys have never watched the vlog where I've come to a physical therapy appointment before, I have done a couple of them. I have a bad back. Back stems from probably underactive glutes. My lower back muscles doing the work that my glutes should be. So we've actually done a lot of work in turning on the glutes via stretches and just mindful work. Um, so haven't been here in about a month and a half. We'll see if I get a good score on today's test. So we're treating this as the yeah, hyper? As okay. the hyper. So I want you to try and see if you can do with a med ball. The thing that I like about this is that it's adding that adduction and pelvis stability. Right. And then we're getting that true posterior chain strengthening and then the extension. Yep. And then you're just going to neutral, so try to tap your feet. So stop before that, go down to the ground. Yeah. And then lift to there. Oh, only to there? It's crazy actually what neutral. neutral. Yeah. How's that? It's good. So this one's right here. Yep, so right. And then we're and stretching. Then So do I keep this? What do right I do with there. this all yep. right here? Yep, and then the reach with the twist. Yep. <sighs> the minute, because I have a lot, like obviously tight hips, yeah. because just, I feel like I have a lot of muscle there. You have that asymmetry to your right so much tighter. And why, yeah, I don't know why. It's just because I use it, that side more. It's better now. Right, it's a lot it's, better. It's weaker on that side. So remember, we usually see a correlation with the weakness and right. the tightness. I mean, I, I feel like everything. my right is better than my left when we started. Right. So three days a week of this full activation, yep. primers. Well, and I only have two leg days a week, so it's usually like a, a Wednesday, Saturday, but 
I probably average only one day actually of doing all of those like that we just did. Yeah, I'd probably be, I'd probably be just doing one day where all of the stretches I probably do four days a week and then that one. I don't think I want to leave. So do you guys see that name right there? Yep, that is me. Longest putt ever made and it was my first time with that putter all the way down to that end. It was like a red cup, wasn't it? Yeah, it's all the cup past the plan. The red solo cup. You guys are just in here having beer drinking games, but now all the way down there, that's probably a 50 foot putt. It was honestly, might have been the highlight of my athletic career. And that's saying something because I played college football and ran high school track, high school basketball, we won state. And this might be my most impre impressive athletic feat. Making a putt in physical therapy that will never ever be duplicated because my heels, the side of my feet, right there. So that's the last day of physical therapy. I've um, been going kind of on and off for the last six months. Back's gotten so much better because my glutes have gotten a lot better, hips. So it's about continuing to do those stretches, which I always overlooked mobility. And that's one thing I always tell people, if I go back and do something different, at the top of that list would be mobility work, just staying healthy. It's so much easier to do preventative than to actually wait till you get injured and then have to rehab. So preventative measures is key, which we have all of the mobility stuff in the app. Amber. You're awesome, thanks a bunch. Now, headed off to the gym, grabbing a protein shake, smashing a back workout. All right, rocking and rolling at the gym here. Late, just turned off the sun so I could talk to you guys. Got my warm up on the Fitness Culture app. We're gonna jump into it. One, two, three, four, two times through. We got four different exercises, let's rock and roll. Pull-ups, sets are gonna be 10, eight, six, four. So we're gonna get heavy, we're gonna get weighted, we're gonna change our grip. So for the 10, I'm just gonna do body weight, but go nice and slow. All right, set of eight, we're gonna go up. We'll go up 25 pounds, we should be able to get that for eight. Not gonna lie, I've been a little gassed today and I like seeing myself on the screen, but when I'm this far back, I can't really see it. So again, bear with me on this video as we, this DJI, see if it's good for fitness content. This belt, if you guys don't have one of these, you can always just grab a dumbbell, put it between your feet. But this makes it a lot easier. Holding it there sucks. But I guess you definitely can't kip if you're holding a dumbbell. All right, this one, we're gonna do supinated grip. A little bit of an arm pump. We start hitting these weighted pull-ups. All right, we got 35 pounds on here. We're gonna see if we can't hit six. Oh, got a little T-bar. Geez, I'm white. I'm vascular, but very white right now. Nothing like 10 pounds of muscle and a tan to just make you feel like a million bucks. All right, where's my little just was asking, Harrison trains at our gym. She's just telling me her two-year-old's being acting terrible. I'm like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna scare me out of having a kid. I signed on the dotted line. We're doing this, okay? All right, 12 good reps. The reason I like this T-bar setup, it just automatically puts you in a place where you're rowing, it's kind of fixed, but it's in that perfect plane where I'm pulling it back to the sternum. So I'm not moving my upper body, but it's just in this nice arc. Big fan, big fan of doing a mean to this. All you need is a little landmine thing. Okay, we went up 40, uh, 45 pounds, or no, 35 pounds. 10 reps here, trying to take biceps out by just thinking almost like, first thing I wanna do is shrug back and then pull. Feels good. I also feel like my back's not in a super compromised place on that. You know, last last set, last set, best set. We got to uh, we got to make sure we go shirtless on this one. It's okay, guys. 
I said it's okay. People grind so much they break at the seams Oh let that stress take over, please just breathe Yeah, yeah, everything's gone up here yeah, including the fees Alright, moving up next we got a little lap pull down We're gonna be going wide behind the neck for the first one Supinated, close grip to the sternum And then back to wide So, just one of those things I like feeling as I'm doing this lap pull down So it'll be behind the neck, in front, and then in front but wide So, don't have to do it that way I just like feeling like I'm, I don't know, maybe it's just a mental thing And it makes me feel like I'm staying creative or staying in the exercise It gives me something to look forward to, I don't know Yeah, yeah, all that matters Good time but the gang gang get yeah, all that matters Yeah, yeah, dream sometimes do dark hits, sometimes shatters Bangers on deck, bangers on deck, all that matters Sometimes build up it, sometimes shot Okay, last thing for back. We got a little tri set. So we're gonna go seated hammer row or hammer strength row, and then we're gonna hop over dumbbell pull over to a basically a reverse pull up on the bar. That'll be the last thing we do. So just gonna try to get 10 reps, 10 reps, and 10 reps, and then that'll be one set, and I'll go three times through. Ready to do a little dumbbell pullover on these. Just a slight crack in the elbows. And then we're going all the way. So here, slight crack. Uh, butt sinks as my hands drop. Minute 30 break, and then we're back into it again. Good time in between, just to stretch it out. All right, little alternating Zotamin. Seven, 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 seven all the way, seven half, seven full, just to get a nice little bicep pump. Slowly but surely, gotta get to 210, then 215, then 220, always maintaining lower than 10% body fat. All right, I'm gonna let that face track enable. Oh, there we go, now I can move. All right, overall opinions of the DJI. Now, I really just tore into this package. I liked it when I could basically give it the commands I wanted and it listened. Don't nobody understand the words that are coming out of your mouth, man. But there was times I felt like I thought I had it in a track mode or whatnot and it just kind of went off the rails. So I would say it's, it's almost easier if I'm vlogging. Yeah, face track, easy. But if I'm bending over or if I'm a, you know, a ways away from the camera, probably best not to even have that tracking on. Overall, we'll see how the, the colors turn out. And then gotta get home, meal prepping hasn't gone great i'm just so ingrained with a hey, snack here have a smoothie there so bad with meals and stopping today at maverick here's my thing yes i'm trying to gain weight empty calories to me are never a good idea and i shouldn't say empty calories like a slice of pizza serves its purpose when i really want one but today i wasn't even like i was just hungry and that's something that i see across the board with people if you fail to prepare prepare to fail so yeah, making sure that I have meals or at least I have enough time to go home, make something or talk about habits. Like I used to have a habit of making my meals and I wanna get back to that even if it's just three days a week, meal prepping, maybe five meals. So that's 15 meals of the week I've essentially prepped. That goes a long way. I'm gonna upload this footage. Again, good bicep pump. Being consistent with work, working out has been kind of goal number one, showing up every single day. We're doing well with that. Sleep's been a lot better. Uh, hydration needs to get better, nutrition, and then supplementation finally. But I'm not worried too much about supplements until I get everything else in check. And I know a lot of you are like, well, you know, I, I use pre-workout or use that. I don't wanna use that as a crutch because all of a sudden I rely on that too much. So I wanna rely more on my sleep and nutrition and hydration and then supplementation for specific goals. All right, we'll see you guys manana. Let me know what you thought of this DJI. And if you guys have any tips that I'm not doing with it, let me know. Bye.